Oh, okay, so, queso, cheese. So, I was watching something about, I, I, I in fact, I unsubscribed to this metal channel because I don't like the fat guy talking. I didn't, I didn't like his voice, but now I'm seeing his fat, goofy face. I know that's not nice, but hey. Anyway, so he was a pretty guitar, huh? It is damn pretty. I'm going to get this thing worked on soon because I want this to play really good. This is a badass guitar. Do I have a Gibson Gold Top? I used to, no. I don't have one anymore. All I have is uh, the black one, a black custom, a white custom, and a tobacco standard Gibson and the Ace Freely blue I think that's oh no and, a, and, a, and an Explorer Gibson that's all I have I used to have like seven friggin uh, Les Pauls a couple Explorers a Flying V you get them for nothing in the 80s especially the early 80s nothing 250 bucks 300 bucks boop oh well um <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Okay, so this guy was talking about Jakey Lee calling Mick Mars a racist because he called him a slanty-eyed something or other. He's half Japanese, and this is the 80s. People were throwing around racist stuff like it was crazy. This was the 80s when girls were coming up to you and offering, you know, not like today, not the horrifying, sickening political correctness that we live in today. No. Nikki said that word. Like they're cause they so this idiot, the metal guy, he pulls out this rehearsal tape. And I was at the place where they were rehearsing when they did this. And it was right after Tommy got out of jail. So it was with the new singer, Karabi. And Tommy had painted something. He goes, Look at this N-word painting. Look at this. 
and Tommy's la everybody's laughing because Tommy's acting like he's like all gangster because he's been in jail for like a couple of weeks or whatever it was. Look, I've been in jail. I it didn't change the way I talked. But then again, I was with many Hispanic brethren. So actually, I did pick up a few things, but you know, I don't want to talk about jail time. I've only been in jail a few times, and it was for drunk stuff. Always drunk and stuff. That's why I quit drinking. Always got in trouble. It did nothing but get me in trouble. So anyway, so this guy pulls out one thing that Mick said in the mid-90s. Okay. Nobody has ever said a racist thing ever, ever in their life. I don't anymore, but I, you know, everybody used to just fling this stuff around all the time. So here's the thing. Jake, when he was touring with Ozzy, he knew he was barely in the band. And that there, George was actually right at the doorstep. <laughs> he was at shows, George Lynch. I hate to admit this, but it is true. And, you know, Ozzy just couldn't make up his mind. Should I go with George Lynch? He seems too much like Randy and Eddie Van Halen. He doesn't have his own thing where Jake was kind of his own deal. You know, he wasn't using a bar, but he would cheat. And But, you know, Jake to me was a boring but very good guitar player. And I actually got in an argument with him. You know, back in like 99, he was... It took four years for him to make four demo songs with my old singer Mandy, the loser. So, out of those four songs, only one is good. And so Mandy released it. And everybody's like, oh, I'd love to have them all. I have them all. I have all the song four that they did. I have every demo Mandy ever recorded because he would give me copies because we were friends. We probably still could be friends. He's, I don't know. Someone's got to make an effort. It's probably going to end up being me to get hold of him. It's just that if he's going to be lying all the time like other people, and they all seem to live in the Vegas area, I can't take the lies. I can't take the constant lying. It just bugs me. So anyway, so this guy's hounding Mick for saying that when he was saying it to Tommy because of the way he was talking. Yo, 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 what up, bro, brother, and all, whatever. He's still talking the way, kind of. He went from valley guy to that overnight. So he picks that out. You know, that's stupid. What about in 97? I had, you know, a million people got Nikki Six calling a security guard a dirty MNF and N word to his face. Why didn't he show that? Why didn't they just label the whole band racist? You can't do that. Is it right? No. You shouldn't be calling, saying those things. Of course not. I hate racist people. I hate racism. It bugs me. But you can't do that, you know, now with modern horrifying technology. Big. This is Big Brother. Just me doing this video, it gets watched by the people that put this out, and they you know, thumbs up or thumbs down whether it gets to you guys. That's, I gotta walk a line. I gotta walk the line, like Johnny Cash said. Walking the line. So, I'm like, that's bullcrap, man. And I told him, dude, if you're gonna do that, then why don't you call out Nicky, too, in 97 when he called, said that to the uh, security guard, called him all that. And he got in a little bit of trouble, but it went away, because it was it's not, still the 90s. We hadn't hit the horrible... Just the past 10 years, really, everybody likes to blame everything on Trump, but it's been the past 10 years, everything has been going nuts. And it sucks because the past 10 years, I've been having to recover from that accident. I lost everything in it, literally. My job, my wife, my house, my cars, everything. Just not these. Well, I didn't have that this then. But I had a lot. As far as my ex-wife knew, I only had 10 guitars, and she thought that was ridiculous. And I had, like, 70. But they were all over the place. My friend had some. Like I said, pretty much the same people have the same guitar. Except my son didn't. 
because he hadn't moved out yet. No, he had moved out. He had, didn't have a place. Where he did, I gave him a, one bass and one guitar, two guitars. And then he ended up, he's got his own guitars now, so. He's got the Dime, Slime, and uh, Static X uh, Epiphone V. That's worth a lot. You can't find those anywhere. And they're really nice. The fingerboard, the fret. That thing is composite material. It's like playing on a on glass. It's amazing. So, uh, yeah, he's got his own collection starting now. But he's also got a bunch of mine. Thank you, son. And then another friend up in that state. And then, you know, friends, cousins. Siblings. <laughs> like that so the the moral of this story is you can't call someone a racist because they said one word 30 years ago or whatever is it right no so just don't do it try to be nice to everybody and see you know what if I went and I just started and I was thinking about this how can I get more viewers how can I get if I talked about all the dirt I knew about people you know, calling out, but I can't call out all everybody that was homosexual because that's not a big thing anymore. They, like, so what? But you would be surprised if I told you all the people that in bands that were gay. But who cares? My best friend Tony was gay. He was gay, and I loved him like a brother. I miss him every day. I miss that guy. He was cool, and he taught me that this whole homophobic stuff is all a bunch of heart, heart but I didn't I hadn't met anybody and I'd been his friend for four years about before he told me and he's like do you hate me I'm like hate you you're my brother how could I hate you and so you know time went by and it was bothering him that his family didn't know I'm like dude your family knows now whether they're admitting it or not or accepting who knows but I know your dad will love you, your brothers will love you, your aunts, uncles, everybody. They, they probably have a pretty good idea. So we talked for a while. He ended up deciding to out, come out to his family. All of them loved him, except his mom. She was furious. Strict Catholic. Now, not saying anything about Catholics. But she's very strict and not educated well. And she's like, I, you're, you're going to hell. You're not my son. She disowned him. And this is like months before he died. So he started like, dude, I, I've got to say something. I, I, I don't want my mom to hate me. This is really sad. I don't like talking about it. Okay. I, okay hold on. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, I didn't expect this from your mom. This is freaking me out too. But don't make up stupid things like you saw the Virgin Mary because that isn't going to work. And you, you, you didn't. And why would the Virgin Mary appear to you? Why would the Virgin Mary appear to anybody? Her job was to be a sacred vessel for the Savior. The only sinless man to be born upon the earth whose father was God. That was her job. She did it perfectly. Was she sinless? No. I don't know. But as far as I know, I don't think she was the only sinless person to ever walked this earth. And I'm getting religious now. I know, and I'm not. It's not religious. It's actual fact about what people believe. That we believe that Jesus Christ was the only sinless man, God, to walk the earth. And he came down here to save us. Get it? And you'd be surprised what Muslims believe. It's very close, but not quite. But if they would actually read what it says they wouldn't be all tripping out like they are and trying to kill everybody because it doesn't say that anywhere I've read it the Quran several times it's not in there in fact they say Jesus is the deliverer for us from Satan or sin yes 
And they hold the... Uh, how am I getting on this? Oh. So, going back to Tony. I'm like, listen. You're just going to have... Your mom will accept it. Just give her time. Unfortunately, he didn't have the time. And he ended up dying before she did. And when we went to the funeral... The friggin' dude was saying that, well, unfortunately, because of his lifestyle, he's bound to a, to a something in hell. I'm like, what? <laughs> Who are you to judge this guy and say he's not in hell? Believe me, I know. So, that pissed me off. But anyways, that's Tony. So that's just, you know, saying, like, if you just talk about dirt, and about people being racist, and about people being homophobic, and about people being whatever. That's easy junk. And this guy gets a lot of hits. He's got a lot of subscribers. A ton of them. And he probably makes a lot of money. But I don't want to be the guy telling dirt. I want to be, like, dirt. That's literally what Molly Crew meant. The dirt. They're going to give you all the dirt. I don't want to give you all the dirt. I'm going to give you a lot of it in the documentary. I'll give you some here because I know you'll probably watch both. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to like, this guy's did this and this guy's did that and this guy's a liar and that girl's a liar. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that guy. So you got to help me. You say you want me to talk. I'm talking, but I'm, I don't know if you guys are even going to be interested in this. You'll probably, I'll probably get like nothing. No comments as usual. I got zero comments on those.